Dressed all in black, Neil Powell stayed silent moments before he was charged with homicide. Neil, is there anything you want to say? The 23-year-old. Jason, is there anything you want to say? Did you have any involvement in Frankie's death? No. Along with his friend Jason Dominic, are accused in the execution-style murder of Frank Bonacci of Dunmore. They were all friends at, at, at some point in time. Um, and, you know, there, there's some evidence that this could have been a result of some conflict between one of the, the uh, individuals arrested over a female. Bonacci went missing on July 20th. He was last seen at a party at Powell's house just before 7 a.m. Neighbor Caroline Howe heard them outside on a back deck. We were outside playing cards until like 2.30, and then we went in, and they were partying over music, talking. Was that unusual? No. Prosecutors say Bonacci left with the two suspects in his SUV. His body turned up a week later, just about a minute away, in the area of Roaring Brook behind Ridge Row near the University of Scranton. Detectives think Bonacci was shot once in the back of the head, and the two suspects used a rock wedged on the SUV's gas pedal to cause it to go over a 72-foot embankment. Three people went into the woods, two people came out. Um, and we're still gathering information and putting some more of the case together, but we felt as though we had enough information at this point in time to arrest the individuals for the homicide. Police spent a large part of their day at Neil Powell's home in the 1400 block of Linden Street. Search warrants show investigators are looking for any and all 38 caliber and 357 caliber guns and shell casings. Friends say Powell would often shoot his guns off in a garage behind the home, and the ballistics could match the bullet used in the homicide. Powell's neighbors are shocked at the accusations. The young man I know is respectable, morals, values, always spoke, always had something nice to say. Um, a good kid. 